Today is part two of an interview I did with Elite Powers, your advisor and certified financial planner, Mark Bilek from Attleboro Wealth Management, where we discussed if Congress is going to be getting rid of the Roth IRA, who's to blame for the national debt, and why the U.S. will be facing financial calamity in the year 2030. So sit back and relax and enjoy part two of my interview with Elite Powers, your advisor, Mark Bilek. With everything being so difficult and all these drastic measures having to come about with tax increases, we counsel people to move money into Roth IRAs and, and properly structured life insurance policies, what you refer to as life insurance retirement plans. What's what's to say Congress can't make can't change and make Roth IRAs taxable, for example? Mm-hmm. And now we get that all the time. Mm-hmm. But I want to share with you, with uh, you to share with your viewers what your thoughts are about that. Or what yeah, I mean it's a great question. We get that question a lot all here. Historically, Congress has always taxed you either on the seed or on the harvest. Yes. Okay, um, if they were to lure you into a, a a program like a Roth IRA or a Roth 401k or a Roth conversion and say, we are going to charge you tax on the front end. We're not going to charge you tax on the back end. And then all of a sudden they say, we are going to charge you. We're going to pull the rug out from under you as it were. And we are going to charge you on the back end. Now all of a sudden that's a violation of a, of a promise. Okay, um, It would be much easier for them to say, we are either going to tax you on the front end or the back end. If you choose to put your money into 401k, we're not going to tax you on the front end, but we are going to tax you on the back end. We never really said how high that tax was going to be, that you made yeah. assumptions on your part. And we're going, to, we're going to do exactly what we've done in the past, which is raise taxes on everyone across the board. And they've done that. But, you know, If you study the history of tax rates, it's like a roller coaster ride. We had tax rates as high as 94% in the wake of World War II, as high as 89% in the 60s. It's the highest seventy percent in the seventies. So they have a they have a, a proven track record of raising and lowering taxes based on their need for revenue. So that's precisely what's going to happen. Um, they've 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 uh, they've made no guarantees as to what tax rate. So it's going to be much more politically, I think, um, palatable for them to raise taxes than to pull the rug out from under people. The other thing that people have to remember is the Roth IRA is the one thing that both the government and everyday Americans love. Yes. Americans love it because it helps them shield themselves from the impact of higher taxes. The government loves it because it gives them more tax revenue today. So uh, I don't know. That's why I tell people the Roth IRAs are here to stay because it's the one thing that the government and everyday Americans love. Yeah, they're hungry for it. Every new piece of legislation is new Roth, new Roth. They're now forcing higher owners to make their matching contributions Mm -hmm. Uh, to uh, Roth 401ks. Yep. Uh, they've expanded the Roth capabilities for employers, allowing them to put um, their their employer contributions into Roth options in their retirement plans. They've expanded it to simple IRAs and SEP IRA things you couldn't do before. So don't be fooled, folks, that uh, the, the government wants us to fund into these Roths. The other side of it, what I often say is, they're not going to have to go after the Roth IRAs because so much is still in the traditional 401ks and IRAs and not enough of you are getting the message or not listening to the message because we have these, you know, thousands of people that we all um, have in our classes and on webinars. And it's still a small fraction that actually take the steps to do anything because it can, I know it can be, you know, uh, I listen, I hate writing the tax checks I have to write too, right? But I understand the value in the tax planning that I'm doing. And, you know, you just have to write those tax, tax checks. But uh, not everybody has the stomach to do it. And the thing is, most of America doesn't, unfortunately. And we can't reach most of America. As hard as we try, we can't reach most of America. Yeah, I mean, there's no, tar- there's no target on Roth IRAs. No. Why? Because it represents 5% of the cumulative retirement balances for Americans across the country. Wow. I did so it's 5% and uh, 95% are in 401ks, IRAs, 457, subsimples, the types of tax deferred vehicles. So so, so clearly, um, you know, my, my goal over the next 10 years is to help 100,000 people get on the road to the 0% tax bracket. I like that. Um, I got a long way to go because only 5% of Americans have you know, any sort of Roth type accounts. And so um, that's part of my message, uh, getting that message out that in a rising tax rate environment, I truly believe we're in a rising tax rate environment. People need to start systematically repositioning assets from tax deferred to tax rate and certainly contributing to the types of accounts like Roth IRAs, Roth 401ks, um, cash value life insurance like we discussed. So, Okay, folks, that was the end of part two of my interview with Elite Powers, your advisor, Mark Bilek. If you want to learn more, 
about how to shield your retirement savings from dramatically higher taxes, be sure to check out my tax-free toolkit. You can download it for free at taxfreetoolkit.com. If you are a financial professional and want to learn how to become a certified Power of Zero advisor, head over to powerzero.com and opt into my free three-part video series. By the way, if you have any comments or questions, feel free to drop them into the comment section below. I respond to every single one of them personally. And don't forget to click like, subscribe, and the bell so you never miss a video. This is Dave McKnight. I look forward to seeing you on the next video.